Alliance Arena, home to the top German club, Bayern Munich. It was reopened in 2005 and could fit in 75,000 people. It already hosted the World Cup, Champions League, and in the future, more sports events to come. Football Club Bayern München, commonly known as FC Bayern Munich, located on the northern outskirts of Munich. The Alliance Arena has been in use since the beginning of the 2005 and 2006 season. Thank you. Alhamdulillah, I got my tickets and the best thing is that we're doing a tour all around the stadium. We can go to the changing room, we can go to the field, everywhere. an arena tour. Check out the range of tour and decide which is the best suited to your requirements. Fantastic. Alhamdulillah, I feel so lucky to be in the Alliance Arena as we see this whole field where the players play and where the coaches are sitting and we're all here, 75,000 people that can stay in the stadium. SubhanAllah, this, the tour just started. I think I gotta go and catch up. Alliance Arena is one of the best and modern stadium in Europe. In this tour, they also allowed me to enter the media room and the best thing is... Going into the changing room of the players. Feeling so lucky, this is my first time to see up front the changing room of the Bayern Munich players. So we're going and continuing the next room. There's so much to see here. After our one-hour guided tour of the Alliance Arena, I'm headed to the Football Museum. So right here, you would actually see how the Bayern Munich has already achieved so many trophies for the Bundesliga, the European Cup and everything since 1965. It was nice to learn about football and the Bayern Munich Football Club. Even though I'm not a big fan of the club, the various cups on display were very impressive. Legendary players, Frank Ribery and Arthur Robin, and these are so, so powerful, great players of the world. And did you know that among them, there were also Muslims? Frank Ribery. These are all the players that have played for Bayern Munich since 1980 until today. There are lots of football history of the club that can be learned. At the end of my tour, I had the chance to get myself a souvenir. I will not forget this visit. If you have arrived here, don't miss the opportunity to go to the fan store and get a lot of souvenirs here. We usually watch international football games on TV, but today, Alhamdulillah, it was the best experience for me. If you guys come to Munich, go to the Alliance Arena. Not far from the stadium, there is a mosque. Since it's already time for prayers, let's stop by and perform the Salah and do a little bit of sightseeing around the mosque. The Islamic Center of Munich holds a very long history back and dated in the World War II. As today, Alhamdulillah, it stands as one of the largest Islamic centers in Germany. This is the Munich Islamic Center. It is very beautiful. The building is like a small shape of a dome. I believe that having the mosque built, it shows the establishment of the Muslim community here.
about to meet a German that has been working here for more than 40 years. Thus, I would like to know his experience as a converted Muslim. Shortly before th that you know much more about me, um, I was Protestant before I came to Islam. I converted 1985 in Calcutta in India whilst uh, going there for studying Northern classical Indian music. That's my story. And then it started slowly, slowly to learn everything. And then finally, I'm a practicing Muslim for many, many years. Allah. And, and I'm very happy about that. And most important, Alhamdulillah, extremely thankful to Allah. Um, I was just wondering, uh, Salim, how about the, the youth, the young? Uh, I bet you also meet the, the Muslim youth around here. Well, what do you think about them? How are they? It's a very, very good question. Many things changed in the last years. Uh, Alhamdulillah, we have a very, very good chef here. And I think I'm allowed to say that this is now of course going on for some years, but it is the most um, advanced way. What we have here in Munich, it never happened in that way all the years before when I converted to Islam in 1985. And somehow, um, I have to say that uh, in a very humble way, but now because going back with all the experience in the last Yes, um, I'm very happy that with my wife, uh, we are nearly the, we are the oldest couple in Munich uh, being the German converts. So my wife is a bit older than me and we are pretty much the oldest uh, German converted couple in Munich. So somehow a little bit famous. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Thank you for the same. Okay. Assalamu alaikum. Good journey for whole Europe, inshallah. Thank you so much. Okay. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. I was honored to meet Salim for he shared part of his beautiful life with me. 